Hold on, I'm playing words with friends with uh, intern Rick here. We got 12 points. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the news desk here at That New Toy Smell. We had nerd overload this past weekend as both WonderCon and JoeCon were happening at the same time. Plus, the beginning of the month, so we had answers from the toy guru. So we're going to mix it all together and give you a goulash of the latest news. Now, the first thing that happened at WonderCon that's worth noting is the Thundercats animated trailer debuted. It made its way online for a couple days before it got pulled. Since it got pulled and they really don't want us to show it to you, we won't. But here is our own Scotty Cash with his expert analysis of the trailer. Yeah, boy! Thank you, Scotty. Now, in other WonderCon news, Mattel uh, announced this Batgirl from the new Batman Legacy line. Although those of you who are uber nerds will realize she's wearing the wrong belt. Don't worry, they have announced they will release her with the correct belt. So don't freak out. Also, we got this Ghostbusters 2 Ray Stance figure from the Ghostbusters Classics line. It looks great, sure, whatever. Guys who are into Ghostbusters, I'm sure love that thing, but I'm still holding out for the extreme Ghostbusters. If I don't, do, if I don't get that guy in the wheelchair, I'm just not buying this line. They also had some Masters of the Universe stuff, but I mean, you know, it's like, whatever. Who cares about that line anymore? There was this leech guy, and, uh, well, they said he's only coming with one head. In fact, they didn't announce that publicly. That was uh, told to Pixel Dan in a private email that someone mysteriously forwarded to me, but I thought I'd go ahead and read it and share it with you all here. He doesn't seem to mind that a whole lot. They also had a goofy Hurricane Hordak figure. And I say goofy because, seriously, you guys want this Hordak with some crazy weapon, but I can't get a Disco Skeletor? Shut up, Scotty Cash! Some of us like Disco Skeletor. Some of us still like Disco. Over at JoeCon, we got the new Celebrating 30 Years line, which is totally not a continuation of the 25th anniversary line that they would call the 30th anniversary line. Instead, this is the Celebrating 30 Years line, which is in the style of the 25th anniversary line, but something completely and totally different. JoeCon also featured a G.I. Joe Archives panel, which showed photos of random stuff like G.I. Joe Transformers crossover prototypes. They had the canceled Pursuit of Cobra Command Center, and concept art for the modern USS flag that they announced will never, ever, 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 ever get made. So, sorry, Joe fans. But Hasbro did announce that they are starting a G.I. Joe subscription service, similar to the Masters of the Universe Classics figures uh, service offered by Mattel. Hasbro doesn't have a whole lot of details about this yet, but they said that they're planning on doing two figures a month, two carded figures a month, for six months. Now, they haven't announced any figures. They haven't really announced how they're going to ship it or how exactly it's going to be structured. They said people may be able to come in and join the subscription later, but people who are there from day one all the way through would get a bonus figure. Maybe. Not a lot of details, but it's enough that those few G.I. Joe fans who are still out there, you uh, and that guy, uh, you guys can still get excited about G.I. Joe. All right, folks, that's going to do it for now on the news desk, but we're going to go ahead and go to a video review from the handsomest video reviewer here at That New Toy Smell, popculturenetwork.com. That would be uh, this guy, Dirt, and he's going to be bringing us the RoboCop figures from Kenner. So take it away, gorgeous!